Hello, fire signs. It's Lulu. I pray that all is well with you all. Okay. I really do, because, you know, whew, I ain't been keeping up, but based on the live we did the other day, the house members told me that there was some fear and some anxiety heavy going on around her. Y'all, get back to center. Center yourself. Ground yourself. Protect yourself. Try to stay off social media or stay off things that um, would feed into that fear and anxiety. You don't need that. You don't need that. You deserve better, baby. You deserve better. We are now rocking to 528 hertz um, miracle tone to bring positive transformation. High energy solfeggio frequency music. All right. Now then, you can check the house meditation playlist if you want to hear it. I think I have it on there. If not, I'll uh, save it in there now in a second. So let's see what's going on with the five signs. Let's get to it. And I will be pulling the surrender uh, card to see what it is that you can possibly be working on at this time. Angels, what information do you have for Le Fire Signs? Any information that you need is in the description, Vaseline. Hmm? Now then, heart, this is heart. So, Air Signs just got a heart card as well. So this must have a, this is going deep, y'all, okay? When you work on yourself, you, you also, you know, change the things around you, change the people around you. Everything you touch, you change. Everything that you change, changes you, okay? So, got two cards. The first one is inner guidance. The second one is unconditional love. All right, so let's take these one at a time. <laughs> choo choo. Now, with this inner guidance, <clears throat> what I'm getting, aside from the obvious, okay, there may be, um, um, okay, this is your body. Okay, so some of your energy centers um, here may need some of you may need a reiki healing so this is a good time for reiki healers to um really uh, advertise and put in the work at this time to really assist these assist people these people all right so this is an energy center there are some things that you are releasing now a lot of things are coming up from your past um, pro possibly from your childhood that you are releasing possibly from your teenage um the teenage i was going to say teenage error but there's a lot of things that are coming up for you to release, right? Okay, and it may have something to do with teeth here. Around, or around the age when your new teeth came in. So whatever age that was, there may be a lot of things that are like, there are some gifts that are being restored as well, but also you are beginning to remember a lot of things from your childhood. A lot of stuff coming up at this. All right. Yeah. So I am seeing here there's three people right here in a heart, even though I, you may not see it. Okay. It's up here just in case. Now the screen going to go a little dark. There we are. So there's three people in a heart. So this may have something to do with siblings and a mother or um, fighting for attention or vying for attention here. So what I feel is that when it comes to family, when it comes to your connection to your family, you begin to see things for what they are because you've had time to reflect. This is really pulling in, stabilizing the emotions and picking up the, the mother and the father side as well. Picking up um, what goes where. This is compartmentalizing the feelings, compartmentalizing, um, putting, things into a diff putting things into perspective here when it comes to how to maneuver through certain situations in family, right? I also feel that uh, someone may be apologizing to you and you're unsure. They may be apologizing to you, but then also asking you for something and you're just like, mm -hmm. you apologize because you wanted something, right? But I don't feel like that's what it is. Uh, they want you to look at this from a space of, um, 
loving without condition, which is unconditional love, right? Not even putting any barriers on certain things because now that you, certain things are being revealed to you about how the process works for these other people that may have affected you in some type of way. They, this is you moving through this challenge of releasing um, any pain, hurt, or sorrow, releasing what you thought, you know, the expectations that you have on certain people or how the expectations that you had on certain situations, right? You thought that things would go one way and they went another way. So now you're being nudged to, um, in order to bring um, the family together, like you may be the matriarch or the patriarch or the family, and this is to bring the bring people together. You will be bringing people together. <clears throat> okay. Now, cactuses are very important. Um, some of you may have a. Uh, I'm saying it, bitch. It's a talking cactus, and we're not gonna sit up here and act like. Plants don't talk. Cactus is a very important plant. And I feel like there may be, um, the cactus is lonely. Moving forward. It don't matter, honey. Now, mm, sun gazing or just getting out in the sun, If you, even if it's just, you know, your patio, your backyard, you need to get out in some sun and release some things. This is the best way for you to release a lot of the energies that are coming in here. It's like you're giving it. It's gonna be strong. It's it's real strong. It's a strong release. In order for you to regain your strength, in order for you to regain your power, you need to release that. And you'll 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 know what that means. You got three twos. So this is a lot of balance coming in. This is a lot of harmony. This is a lot of work that is coming in as well. So the work that you've done in the past, the work that you are doing now is going to lead to even more work. But they're saying that as as you go and as you elevate, as you ascend you um, will be able to release easier. It will be, it'll come natural even more so when it comes to certain things here. Okay. Now then. There are some ideas uh, that you um, are giving birth to here. And it's still in this, um, whatever this is, it's in this infancy stages. And when certain people come and ask for your attention, ask for your help, ask, I feel like people are asking, asking, asking. They really need you for this, that, and the other. They want you to use your discernment because something may have been taking, you may have been giving, 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 and, some, and you haven't been delegating. Or you may have been giving, 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 trying to, you know, this causes resentment when you are giving so much and not being reciprocated because there's something that you need to work on even more so and you need to under um, let people understand, uh, you know, no means no. You know how to say no and be powerful about it, don't you? All right. Now, pricking of the finger. Some of you may need to go get some tests done here, and it may have to do with some childhood issues that may be... Um, have gone unrecognized unrecog or some childhood issues that may um, need your attention at this time. I'll clarify here in a second. Someone here you are connected with in one of your in some of your darkest moments, okay? And when you connected with them in your um, in some of your most darkest, like they hold secrets that no one else knows. They hold information here and you have it about them as well they're saying that when it comes to um <clears throat> they said don't worry about it when it comes back up that's something that's been released as well because some of you may have someone who um, has some type of secret about you and you're worried about your reputation being um, um this sabotaging your reputation they said don't worry about it because it's really a small thing to a giant honey now, <clears throat> doing uh, meditative practices that have to do with um, centering, but most importantly, um, this is um, the solar plexus, I feel. There's some solar plexus energy that's going to come in very strong, and... 
it's going to be important when you get all of this energy that, that just pushes through and it's a lot of creative energy, right? That you ground yourself and center yourself and come from the heart space. It's going to be important. Um, if possible, if you can get outside and, and sit in some grass or something like that, because that solar plexus energy is real strong. This looks like somebody meditating on top of a mountain. This man right here, it looks like a man to me. Yeah. Meditating on top of a mountain. And that, that looks like the sun in his um, solar plexus area. So there's a lot of energy that, like, you may even be um, in that space where you are radiating with so much light and so much love that a lot of people are drawn to you at this time, right? A lot of healing energy. So there's a lot of healers here on this video. Now, yeah, you are connecting very strongly with two. It's three people again. So it's three people in this card and there's three people in this card, right? Um, a strong connection here. You have a lot in common with these people, whether they're family or not, but I feel like it's family. And um, things are being cleared up. This has something to do with um, your ability to see things that other people can't. Your ability to um, channel certain energies. It's like you are teaching that it's okay to love in a certain way. You're teaching love in a certain way. You're teaching healing in a certain way. Now then. Now, there's a connection between you and someone else I'm seeing in here. Uh, you may be drawn to someone very strongly, so you want to figure out what that is before you move forward. Um, there's a pull, a pull between you and another person, and it seems like y'all may, like, opposites attract, or y'all may, um, to the mind's eye, you know there's something more. But to the physical eye, it's just like, no, that is, you're not, like, we're not compatible, right? But you just know that there is something there. So there's a pull here. This is someone that may be coming in to offer you um, some uh, help, contentment. It may be a, a karmic soulmate or it's not a karmic soulmate. I'm sorry. It may be a soulmate. Um, now that you gathered yourself and being drawn to this person, you'll notice when you have certain conversations with them that um, things will be revealed to you on why the connection is what it is. Now then... Clarify this unconditional love for fire signs. Queen of Cups. See? Be friendly. Be opti optimistic. Be Use your intuition. Have fun. Enjoy yourself, right? Taking on that Queen of Cups energy. But it may even be a mother or sister or some female energy that... Um, you have a lot of love for, and it's time for you to see things from a different perspective with them. Um, I feel like things uh, that may have been said, you're going to begin to allow things to just float on by now that you have the clarity, now that you have matured emotionally, honey. What is this Queen of Cups doing with the fire signs, honey? Coming in, wanting to do something new, wanting to um, make things happen. Now, I feel like this is a... This could easily be you moving forward with your intuitive, moving forward intuitively when it comes to your passion, when it comes to your how you move, right? How you do things. This is a new you. This is a new way of doing things. You've done a lot of um, stepping out on faith. You've done a lot of. Um, changing up things. Some of you may have even changed your appearance as well, or there may have been some changes in your appearance. Clarify this. Taking a break. You may be taking a break from a water sign or taking a break from someone or trying to, just taking a pause to reflect on things that you're unsure about because you don't know if this apology that may be coming in or this connection or how to move forward with this connection or whatever this is that you need to do, you're unsure about it. <coughs> Excuse me. I really feel that um, in meditation, you're going to receive a lot of information. Um, some of you may even begin to see a lot of orbs. You may begin to see a lot of things and sightings there's a lot going on here when you least expect it
you are very good at this time with not making impulse decisions. Like, you're not being impulsive. You're not um, forcing your process. Because some of you are going up in the attic, right? In the attic with the hangman, right? Um, really moving in a meditative state. Even you're, you're making stuff happen, but you're moving at a meditative speed, at a meditative rate. Just enjoying your process, right? Feeling very good. Like many of you may even feel a lot of love energy and don't know why. Because you're transforming and moving to an even more mature. Like it's, it's, a, it's that space where you feel like, oh, I'm a man. Oh, I'm a woman. And then you realize, oh, no, I'm grown than a motherfucker. It's like that. Now then. Intuition kicked up a whole notch, like beyond. Right? Um... There may be so many different angles for you, uh, different angles that you can um, go, different approaches, different um, decisions that need to be made, and you're just taking a pause to reflect. Okay, not rushing anything. Nothing needs an immediate answer, any immediate attention, but you are moving forward with your passion, being passionate about how you do things right so there's a lot of fire built up in you but you're also bringing in this water energy i really feel like you are taking on this uh queen of cups energy taking on this divine feminine energy taking on this energy of um i know exactly what to do but that doesn't mean i have to do it bitch now then clarify this inner guidance Taking time to twirl to her, okay? Even though he ain't twirling his her, I really think that man is playing with his nipple. But that's me and my imagination, bitch, okay? So I'm just thinking that you're taking time to do this, right? A lot of people uh, act like this, get on their nerves so bad. Why are you stroking this animal? Shit it, okay? We be thinking shit. We be bringing it through. You bring it through, right? You caress your antennas or your extensions, whatever. But this is us bringing things through. Some of us do this. Some of us do this. Some of us do this. It depends on where you at. But I feel like you are really going to be um, not making a lot of... This is moving into that divine feminine, right? If you're a man, you're doing a lot of this. Rubbing your waves. Okay? But this is bringing in a lot of that divine feminine energy. Like, no, I'm going to listen to my intuition. This is Because I feel with how passionate you are and how... Um, possibly impulsive you have been in the past when it comes to certain people and situations, you're taking time back. Like, no, nah, hold on. So you're doing this when you're thinking. Or whatever it is that you are doing there, because I feel like it's that. So instead, you know, that helps to calm you. That helps you to center yourself as well. Whatever. Now then, what do you have with it? What is this inner guidance for the um, fire signs, honey? Taking charge, emperors. It's a lot of Aries energy right there. But with this, it's time for you to take control, take over. Um, and again, with the family, it's the father side, possibly. But it's time for you to really step in your truth here. There's a lot of memories that are coming back with that elephant right there, because the elephant don't forget shit. Okay. But there's a lot of um, energy coming in here where I feel like you are, you may be a boss. You may be your own boss or clarify this emperor. I really feel that this is you taking risk, but using those that intuitive um, insight to take those risks. I told you, yep. Sun card and the king of cups. So you're very stern in your approach, right? But if this is you and a water sign that you are dealing with, I feel that there's a new beginning between the two of you. Again, there's pregnancy. Okay, but um, at the end of the day, okay, somebody having twins. So at the end of the day, here's what I have here. Some of you are um, in a position of power, whether it's your relationship or whatever it is, you're in a position of power, you are. And um, your counterpart is a very powerful person as well. Why? Because they um, are emotionally intelligent, a little more so than what you thought or what you may, I, I don't know, I've been seeing that in long legs, and I don't know where that one came from. I did have a door open earlier. Moving forward, I like it. Now then. So, the connection between you and this person, that there's going to be a change. Someone is supporting you here, 
they're going to support some decision that you are making or support that the new you or how you do things. This is someone who is well to do or they have all the things. They have everything they want and you um, bring a lot of love and light to them. You bring um, a lot of clarity to their existence, even though they are very mature. Okay, y'all. Clarify this King of Cups. Pisces. Some of y'all got more than one option. Um, but at the end of the day, what I'm seeing here is that the direction that you choose to go, they want you to be very confident in that. Make sure that you know what you want and where you are going and how you go. Bring back that um, inner child, too, right? The innocence of the inner child is important. Water fire. There's some strong stuff up in here. Yeah. So there's a choice that needs to be made. I knew it, lovers. A choice needs to be made, and it has to do with two people. Some of y'all being greedy. That's why I can't get me nothing to bring her. Because you're greedy. You're hoarding uh, spouses. It's the men's with an S. You're hoarding. I ain't call you no whore. <laughs> now, in my past life, whatever. Oh, oh, oh. Now, they want you to uh, make sure that you take uh, the approach that you take. They want you to use your wisdom. Use um, the information that you have about these two people because it's a water sign and a fire sign possibly but it could be anybody but this is you standing in your truth to make a decision between two people or two situations you may be pulled toward two different um, jobs or two different projects one that you are emotionally attached to one that you're very passionate about which one you gonna go with the emotional connection that you have or the passion right but at the end of the day it's two people bitch so you have a choice to make might be three hoarder so you want to uh, really pull yourself together, take a balanced approach toward this so that you can make the right decision. Again, twirl your hair, honey. We twirling. Okay? And whatever decision you make is going to be, bring in a new beginning. This is something beautiful um, that you didn't even know. Like, I even feel like this is an epiphany, a beautiful epiphany. Now you realize you wake up one day and, and just stretch out to the universe when you go outside and do that thing that you do. And you're just like, damn, yep. That's it. It makes sense. Let's go with it. That's what you gonna do? Get my ass up out of here. I got two more reasons to do. But I was like, gotta get out here and fuck with my people, man. You know what I'm saying? Because I know y'all probably going through it out here. Now, this is bringing you balance. This unconditional love, this space of this, and really realizing what it is and understanding what that really is. Because ain't no conditions on it. True, pure love. Right? Now then. This assists with gratitude, open heart, and empathy. So, of course, you're going to go into your gratitude journals. You're going to do your five things that make you feel powerful a day, five things that you are grateful for a day, five things that you are grateful that you have not accomplished or received. You're going to go ahead and bring it into it. Manifest that. Walk toward it. Do the work. This you doing the work. Okay. Now. This supports the cardiorespiratory and immune systems, increases circulation in the chest, heart, and lungs. Now, you'll hold your hands like this, right? And uh, bring your hands in front of the heart, relax the shoulders down, and lengthen the spine. Okay? Your affirmation is, my heart blossoms open with unconditional love. My heart blossoms open with unconditional love. My heart blossoms open with unconditional love. This is inner guidance. This assists with insight, self-compassion, and safety, right? It supports the heart and respiratory system. It releases tension in the chest and ribs. It assists the immune system. It cultivates trust and in inner knowledge, right? Relax your shoulders and lengthen your spine. Hold your hands like this. And relax your shoulders and lengthen your inner spine. Hold your hands like this over your heart, poo. Or you can even hold your hand like this over other people's heart and give them some love. Because we healers. Touch somebody if you want to. They ain't going to know what you changed about them. Like, oh, I feel better. I don't know why. You can even speak life when you do this. You can sit here and be talking to somebody and do this. I was about to do it wrong. However the hands go. I'm not going to look at it. When you're talking to somebody, if you're coming from her, do that. And when you talk to them, you send them healing energy through your words. And they ain't going to know what happened. Whatever. Now then, your affirmation is, I listen openly and honor the voice of my heart. I listen openly and honor the voice of my heart. 
I listen openly and honor the voice of my heart. That's an affirmation. Add it. Now then, what are you surrendering, honey? What are the five signs surrendering at this time? Because we love them so much, honey. What would we be without the fire? We need them. We need them on top of their shit at this time. What do you have for the five signs? Uh, three cards. The first card is surrender to trust. Didn't they just tell you that? We reiterating because some of y'all may not like to listen. Surrender to trust. Trust yourself and your decisions. Don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what you got to do. Trust your motherfucking self. It curses. Nim. Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path. Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path. Take action and be confident. Surrender to play. Have some fun. Damn. Being all uptight and shit. Look how she running off and shit. I don't even know where she going, Hansel and Gretel. She better watch herself. Take a break from overthinking a goal. Do something fun. Play is a time of recreation and rejuvenation. Play is a time of recreation and rejuvenation. Running out into the wild. I told you go outside. Ain't that what she did? Can you see it? They reiterating. Have some fun. Okay? Call me. Don't do it. Now then, the third card is surrender to receiving support and love. Allow the love and support of others in rather than trying to handle everything yourself. Trust somebody. I'm probably talking to a Leo. This can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you, Leo. Now, Leo, we've been talking about this for quite some time, okay? I can really feel that issue, okay? Y'all know how long it took for me to really just get some real help. You need to surrender. Look how them birds from the kids. Kiss a bird, bitch. Get, a, get some help from a bird. Someone very stern and sturdy in what they do, okay? Ain't nothing like the purity that a polar bear can bring. Look up the polar bear. Some of y'all may have a polar bear totem animal, but I'm finna go. Don't be out here stressing. You got work to do. Your work don't stop because they trying to make it like the clock doesn't stop talking, ticking and talking. Don't, don't get caught up like that, man. Because what you're going to do is set yourself back. What you're going to do is take care of yourself and each other. Okay? What you're going to do is whatever the fuck you want to. I'm the last person to tell folks, oh, oh, I try to suggest stuff, but sometimes that mother energy come out that I thought I got rid of many years ago, it still be, mm. so I be having to watch what I'm saying. Please take everything I say with a grain of salt. Yeah, I'm going to start saying that. Take it with a grain of salt. I'm going to go. I love y'all, okay? 